Mladepa said, any movement you do is yantra. Just like you are doing yantra yoga or doing meditation, something exercise. Yes, Mladepa said, there's no any difference because it depends on you, what you do, everything, daily. Even you are only jumping, but if you are jumping with present, relaxed, then it becomes useful. If you are interested of teaching Sutra, teaching Tantra, teaching just like Dzogchen, and yoga, everything is coming from Tibet. When I was in uh, Tenerife another year, then I am listening some of the, this Tibetan music, uh, sounds, etc. And I discovered uh, how they are singing, they are communicating happiness or sorrowful feeling, in the situation, which kind of difficulties they have, they are bringing in a melody. This is how we do in Dzogchen teaching. We try to understand how is the real situation. We do our best. For that reason, I am thinking, oh, it is necessary. We should learn some and listen well to Latin songs.
that they change, they only jump in here and here and here and here. Not this. Here is a meaning, much, much meaning in this movement. You should learn how is it. Okay? Repeat it again. <laughs> What do you need to do when you are dancing? When you are dancing? Coordinate. Huh? Coordinate, no. But being present. That means you are being present. Otherwise you couldn't dance. But if you, you, you are present, when you are dancing, you should relax also. Even jumping, not charging, no. You think you jump, but relax. Then it becomes also good for you. No? It helps. Dancing, relaxing, being present, knowing that. This is practice, no? This is practice. No? How is it? Tell, tell, tell me. What? Tell them what is. This is practice. <laughs> yeah, this is practice. No? I know. 
Today you should dance again. Start music.